Beattie has become the first American to win the Man Booker Prize. The jury praised his novel, The Sellout, as a satire that lays bare race relations in the US. The central character of the novel The Sellout is an African-American man who appears before the U.S. Supreme Court for trying to reinstate slavery and racial segregation. Author Paul Beatty admits the book will push readers out of their comfort zones, but the judges for the Man Booker Prize picked it as the best novel of the year in English. They praised it at an awards ceremony in London for plunging into the heart of contemporary American society with savage wit. I was at a book fair in, in Oakland, and you know, you know, America's going through a lot of stuff like the rest of the world about you know what's representation, what are people trying to do. I was with an author, and he was like, I'm waiting for the book that encapsulates what America is, all the colors, all the ages, da da da. And I was like, no, I don't think like that. I'm just, we just need a bigger shelf. You know, everybody has to tell these individual stories. The setup by Paul Beatty. Beatty became the first American to win the award. A rule change made that possible. Only authors in Britain, Ireland, and the Commonwealth were eligible until 2014 and the prize was expanded to all English language literature. Why it's important that we have an American this year, it's not because it's somebody's turn, but because it shows that there is a global um, reach for this prize and that we are ready to accept any book that is written in English and published in this country. And that is the only criteria. Beattie was the jury's unanimous choice. He beat out three Britons, another American, and one Canadian on the shortlist. Among them were Graeme McRae Burnett with the novel His Bloody Project and Deborah Levy with Hot Milk. The winner certainly has a timely topic as the U.S. wrestles with race in law enforcement and the presidential campaign. But the judges also compared Beattie with timeless satirists like Jonathan Swift and Mark Twain. Writer, academic, and one of the judges of the Man Booker Prize 2016, John Day, joins us now. Uh, hello, and thank you for joining us on Showcase. Hi there. No, thanks for having me. So what was your experience being one of the judges of the Man Booker Prize this year? <coughs> um, well, it's, it's, it's a huge honor to be asked to be a judge for the Man Booker Prize. And um, I found the experience to be both very exciting and exhilarating in lots of ways, but also fairly exhausting. The, um, the Man Booker is, is, I think, the only prize, literary prize in the world for which all of the judges read all of the submissions. And um, for our year, we, we, we read 160 novels in about six months, which works out about a novel a day, which is a fairly tiring, um, both kind of intellectually and physically process. But in spite of that, I found um, the whole experience very interesting um, not only for the individual books we discovered along the way but for the the kind of uh, sense you get of what the novel is doing in a particular year um, in its life and I found that um, experience uh, fascinating. Right. So, sounds like a strenuous process. Tell us what the Man Booker Prize rewards and how it has evolved over the years. Um, well, the stipulations of the prize are, are almost dauntingly broad in that all the, the only uh, criteria you get as a judge um, are that you're looking for the best work of fiction published in that year. And it's up to the team of judges to decide on their criteria for excellence. So one thing I found very interesting about the process was having those conversations amongst uh, the, the jury, what constitutes greatness? How might we identify these characteristics and, and pursue them through the fiction we were reading? And, and indeed, those arguments um, kind of continued throughout the whole 10-month uh, process of the judging. And I think um, one thing that, that one way in which perhaps the prize has changed over the years is how conceptions of what constitutes greatness in fiction may have altered subtly or less subtly as time has gone on. So the kinds of things that we were looking for may not have been the kinds of things that a panel from 10, 20, 30 years ago were looking for. And I think in that sense, the Man Booker in particular is a prize that offers quite a good barometer of, 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 of critical sensibilities, but also of kind of readerly sensibilities. I don't think it's um, a prize that's kind of abstracted from the kind of reading that we all do as, as lovers of literature. And um, 
in that sense, it's a kind of great weather vane for um, changing tastes uh, over time. Yes. Well, in 2014, the Man Booker Prize opened up to the rest of the world by including books written in English in <coughs> any country. How significant was this change? It's difficult to say, I think, as a judge. I mean, obviously, it was a, it was a change I was aware of as a follower of the prize and as a reader of, of novels. Um, your experience as a judge is so much based around the individual books that you receive as you get them that actually the, the consideration of, 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 of you know, the nationalities of the authors um, under discussion is an irrelevance, really. The, it's the books that stand or fall on their own merit. Um, so <coughs> I, from my perspective, the, um, the opening up of the prize didn't really change what I felt the job of being a judge was. Nevertheless, we have now um, awarded the prize to its first American recipient. And the novel, Paul Beatty's The Sellout, which won the Man Booker last night, um, is indeed, um, you might say, from, from a first glance or a read of the reviews of it, a book that is very much concerned with, a, with an American and indeed an African-American experience. It's a, it's a brutal satire of, of, of race relations in contemporary America. One thing that was exciting for us as a panel was that in spite of that, in spite of the, the apparent kind of localness of the, of the, of the um, subjects and themes and indeed um, kind of descriptions within that novel, it, it, it spoke, it seemed to us, to hugely universal and relevant concerns for the world, which is not to say that it lo lost its, its, its uh, lo local specificity in doing so, but the kinds of issues raised by a novel like Paul Beatty's The Setup <coughs> seems entirely applicable to all sorts of different contexts and relations. And indeed, that's what great literature always does do. So I think um, the, the, the kind of the, the, the bureaucratic arguments that go on about whether or not certain nationalities should or shouldn't be eligible for the prize um, didn't feel like a concern that we were particularly um, interested in mm -hmm. while we were judging the prize. Right. One of the judges of the Man Booker Prize this year and writer John Day, thank you very much for joining us.